Hi, I'm Mike, I'm 46, I live in Essex. I currently work in retail management, but I would like to be a TV presenter. I have a great interest in the countryside, I really enjoy archery, clay pigeon shooting, but my main interest, my great passion, is electronic music. I've been composing and performing for 25 years. Uh, I would love to front or host a series about the history of synthesis and electronic music. Hello, and welcome to the Travel Guide. Now, are you ready for some armchair travel? Well, it could be a lot more than that, because you could be the winner of today's holiday competition. All you need to do is answer this simple question. Which fortified wine takes its name from the Portuguese town of Oporto? Is it A, Sherry, B, Madeira, or C, Port? If you think you know the answer, then give us a call on 0800 222 That's 0800 222 333. Calls will cost you no more than 25 pence, but we will announce the winners at the end of the programme. Pick up the phone and I wish you the best of luck. Hello and welcome to Here With Us, With You, we've got Francis Knight. I'm Mike Painter. And I'm James Gillespie and good evening. Coming up on the show tonight we have the um, film that I interviewed. Come on, <laughs> 22 it. Jump Street with the genius Jonah Hill and your favourite Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. 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 Yeah. Very much your favourite. Yeah. Yeah. Getting down with the kids at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to educate her, but you know, it's, it's becoming okay. He's a handsome fella. Yeah, I don't even think I fancy him a little bit, do you? Um, maybe not quite my type. But maybe no, more Jonah Hill. Uh, we won't say any more on that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's full of um, some really good tips about the film and about Channing Tatum working out. <laughs> and also some really good gossip about Joni Hill. You know, I'm not quite sure. He's a bit crazy. He's only if he was a little bit drunk or... You hear that, yeah. You know, but anyway, it's a lot of good fun. What about yourself? Um, well, before Roy Hodgson and the England team went off to the World Cup, I managed to get a little sneak peek, uh, a bit of an interview with him. Um, I was just wondering your views on the England team and their actual chances of winning the <laughs> I mean, I don't know what your view is, but... I, I think we have to be very optimistic on yeah, behalf of England. I, I think so too, <laughs> but... Um, I think we do, yeah. I think everyone knows that it's quite a hard task ahead, but um, it's, it's always nice to think, oh, you know... I'm worrying a bit here because I've uh, put my house on it, so uh, <laughs> I'm hoping we'll win. <laughs> well, well, that was an interesting thing. Keeping up, the, uh, keeping up the World Cup theme, um, or the football theme, I'll be interviewing Ian Broody later on, who was, of course, the <laughs> Lightning Seeds, who wrote Three Lions on the Shirt. Oh, great song. one of the best football songs around, I think you'd agree with me. Yeah, it's one of the greatest songs, greatest songs. It's a bit before my time, I think. It was, only 19, <laughs> it was released in 1998. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I was two. You must have been about six. I like the golden old. <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> I'm joking. I can't quite remember myself, so. But yeah, a little bit, you know, I'm not so up with it. I'm sure I know it, I'm sure. No. Do you want to sing a little bit for me? I, 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 wouldn't, um, I wouldn't upset no? the audience by okay. doing that. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> thank you very much, Bella. Um, That's very, very kind of you. I believe also we've got another football link. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, we'll be joining Susie McIntosh in Brazil to cover the f uh, first England match, actually. That's tonight at 11 o'clock. So we'll be going to Susie McIntosh in Brazil. Thank you, Susie.